Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rose Schweber. I'm back with another exciting video and today I'm talking about how to prepare yourself if you want to move back to your home country, all right? And I'm trying to make this conversation in a sense that China has been really, really a great country, but we cannot live here forever. And some of us, we are contemplating between the reason that should I go back to my home country should I leave China should I go to another country and all that type of stuff and if you are trying to make that conversation with yourself well this video is for you and one thing that I should put out is leaving China is not a bad thing and leaving any place wherever you are in the world trying to go back to your home country is not a bad thing let us normalize that let us normalize going back to our own home countries because who are we to be abroad forever do you understand what I'm saying but that's despite the point I'm not trying to convince anyone to go to their home country I'm just trying to say that these are some of the things that you could do to prepare yourself to go back to your home country and uh, China has been a really great place and peaceful very safe with so many opportunities I, I know of the opportunities because I lived in China for 10 years and I know there are great opportunities here however there are still great struggles and this place will always feel like a place of visiting like a place where you are but it's never gonna feel like home and and another case is despite that there are great things in China or there are still those challenges that we are experiencing every single day wherever you are I know there are always good things and bad things wherever you live even in your own home countries there will be good and bad things so if you're thinking around making that conversation within yourself and trying to understand like what could I do how can I prepare myself to go back to my home country this video is for you and guys uh it it is normal for you to start thinking like you want to leave china it's normal to, for you to start thinking like you want to leave any place to go back to your home country it is just a normal feeling try to validate that feeling because it's actually valid and a lot of us are going through the same thought process right and so how can we prepare ourselves to go back to our home country how can we prepare ourselves uh, number one thing that I would say for any person out there if you're planning to go back to your home country obviously the first a priority priority is for you to try to have a financial target that you need to score before going back to your home country and do not be paralyzed paralyzed in the idea of really acquiring so much wealth abroad thinking that you need to have enough to go back no i think you just need a minimum amount of money that could prepare you to go back to your home country and that is really a priority because you do not want to go back to your home country and start from scratch starting from zero especially in places whereby it's developing there are a lot of challenges it's at least better for you to prepare a little amount of money in your pocket to go back with and I'm not saying to, I'm not only talking to people who are working I'm also talking to people who are studying if you're studying in China and you're planning to go back to to your home country next year try to save your scholarship money right now so that when you go back you have that money at least saved aside for you to start from somewhere when you are back in your home country and that is one first great thing yes if you get your scholarship obviously start saving if you ha obviously have a job I know that's the reason why you're here to make more money and stuff like that but you're planning to go back then you still can just have a minimum amount of money I'm sure you will still be able to make some money in your home country and um, because you wouldn't want to go back to your home country and start asking money from your parents right especially for students so at least try to save that scholarship and money and when you go back you will have something to start off with another thing is another factor for you to prepare yourself is let's normalize going back to our home country I said what I said let's normalize this 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 idea of try us to try to say oh we're gonna be abroad forever it will not really really work at the end of the day let's just normalize that conversation and say now I want to go back okay and it doesn't feel like we are putting ourselves into the fire when we go back to our country no because that's where we are born in the first place so why do you feel like your home country is the fire that you're putting yourself into I'm sure you will survive you will survive you will survive so don't you worry going back home should just be a normal circumstances in life and 
Another way for you to prepare yourself to go back to your home country is if you are graduating from a Chinese university or you have finished maybe working in China and you want to go back home, I would advise you to start uh, sending some emails to your friends back home, sending emails to companies back home, sending emails to people that are relevant that could help you when you get back to your home country, you are able to network easily without you starting from scratch so it's like you're stimulating your journey of going back home so you need to write some certain emails to different people and say okay hey i'm coming back home i am very good at this if you hear anyone who is looking for a um, person trained in this job area i am ready to take up any job or you could make and send an email to, to your auntie or uncle or your cousins and say i'm gonna come in, come be coming back home maybe you don't have a place for, for your own so you say i'm gonna come back home and I would really highly appreciate if you can accommodate him, accommodate me for a few months before I get back to my own feet. You know what I mean? So you just send those emails to relevant people that so that you, you tell them that you're coming. You give them a heads up that you're going back home so that when you get there, it's not like a surprise. You know what I mean? I know, of course, going back to your home country is a very big it could be a big thing, but I'm not sure if everyone is really aware that they need to plan to go back to your home country. So this video is for you and this video is for that reason that we should plan going back home. And another great way for you to go back is you can create your, of course, your CV and everything, have it ready. And if you're like in careers where you need a portfolio, create that portfolio that could really be essential when you're looking for a job, you know. So create that nice um, CV or portfolio so that when you go and start looking for jobs in fact you don't need to start looking for jobs when you're back in your home country start looking for jobs now in your home country right now if you're planning to go back to your home country anytime soon and number five i would say that do research in different for different companies that you're planning to work for or do research on potential companies that could take you up as a employ employee employee you know what i mean so look into those companies that could help you and just just do that research so that you are heads ahead of the game and another way another thing for you to do is you can another way if you want to plan to go back to your home country for for some reasons like then now you're transitioning from this country to the next country i would say that you can also try to create a stable environment for your relationships and friendship that you have created in the country that you are currently especially if you're in china now that you're living going back to your home country try to highlight to your very important people like that one day i would want to go back or in six month times i would want to go back if you made that decision already highlight you like give your friends a heart a heads up that you would want to leave china in this period of time at least that way your friends will also be able to prepare if maybe they want to give you a very great gift or they want to send you to give you a surprise party you know all that good stuff so if you want to prepare yourself to go back home that yeah that could be something that you are you could be interested to do and number seven I mean, if you're watching this video until this point i would say that you can just do as much planning as possible so that you are able to prepare yourself to go back home because if you just go back home swinging like a like something it's it's kind of puts you in a place where when you go there you just want to sit down and look in everyone's face and understand that now what what can i do with my life that i'm back home because I, I feel like when you're thinking of going back to your home country after not living in your home country for a long time you start feeling like this is the end of your life this is the end of your successful life you know but no that's just the beginning of even better things but eight is uh i think you would need to make a conversation with yourself that just go back to your home country it's it's normal telling yourself like going back home right now just go back you know it's normal to go back home even if you're going back to your home country where you are having you are going to live in a broken heart you are going to fetch water from a, a forest from somewhere that's your home country just go back because you know <laughs> just go back i know someone will come and ask me like rose why are you talking about going back home uh, and you are not going back home already this is a video preparing me to actually go back home so yeah just go back to the broken hearts and create a foundation for you and your people you know and i know number eight sounded ruthless like going back to that whole poverty it sounds ruthless but i hope that this video can try to highlight to you that yeah despite the 
fact that you want to go back to your home country, you still need to plan. You cannot just be swinging and going like like a person who cannot see. You need to plan so that you are able to, when you get there, you are actually having a um, foundation to start from. Yeah. <clears throat> and and uh, another point is that, yes, a planning will save you a lot of tears because I feel it's always difficult for change. It's always difficult for a new environment, whether it's your home country or whatsoever. It's always a very difficult thing. So I would highly advise you to plan your going back home because that will save you a lot of tears because your home country will be a whole different place it will be a new country on its own that you need to explore you would need to learn some techniques you will need to adapt to the culture in your home country because even your home country will become like a foreign land for a few a first few days so you best it's best for you to plan your going back home while there's still time don't wait until like two months two months before going back and guys i'm talking for you but i'm also talking for myself i've not even planned but obviously yes going back home should be that that are uh, just pivotal point where you need to start planning ahead and your home country as i said will not be the same place as you left it people will not be the same people might be even talking a different dialect that you don't know how to say speak so make all that research and understand like what is it like being in your home country right now is it the same thing or it's a different thing you know what i'm saying and guys finally this is the end of this video i'm not trying to convince you to go back home but i'm trying to help you let you know like if you're planning to go back to your home country please plan ahead of time all right guys this is this is it for my this is it from me from this video until my next video stay humble stay positive and work hard towards your goals and